Learning to understand your creativity and the flow of that creativity is a lifelong journey because your mind is constantly changing. You've got to grow with it and not challenge it because creativity is one of those monsters that'll look at you and say, you're nothing, buddy. I'll find somebody else. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Well, it's official. Yeah. The doctor has said it. The professional. The specialist. I've got damage to my Achilles tendon. Left leg. No wonder. No wonder the pain just wouldn't easily go away. You know, being a black belt in martial arts, you you have this mind over matter thing where you're able to take a hit and keep going no matter what. And and so for the past pretty close to just over a month, I thought, I I can do this. I'm going to heal the way that I healed uh, during my years of of tournaments and fights and stuff like that in martial arts. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to heal. And it, it, it hasn't turned out that way. So I had to go see the big guy. And the big guy took those really cool x-rays, man. Have you seen those machines? I wanted to name that machine Jimmy or something because, man, I mean, it was like going in every single direction. I'm going, I've never seen anything like this before. I wish the dentist could have an x-ray machine like this, but no, dentists don't do that. They got that one that goes, and it hurts in your mouth when you got that in there. So, and then, and then that didn't work. Doctor needed to really take a look at the Achilles tendon even deeper, so you know, he had to do a sonogram. And uh, wow, that unveiled everything. There it was. There it was. And and I just want to name that bump that's on on my Achilles tendon there, and I give him a name too, like maybe oh, let's call him Philip or something. Only because Philip is making me trip and walk kind of funny, and Philip's just kind of that, that name just sounds like that kind of a thing. Nothing against the name Philip. It just I just feels makes me feel like uh uh uh. uh. Okay. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess. I am a mess. I'm telling you that right now. I am a mess. A chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I believe that in every step that we take, there are lessons to learn. And there are also lessons to teach. And you've got to just commit yourself to that. It's a lifelong journey that that requires a lot of time. And in that process of time, there is progress, but you've got to be able to have a relationship with it. This is the daily mess. You know, there once was a time when leaping into a brand new day began with yesterday still playing itself out. Have you ever been there? Waking up at three, four o'clock in the morning because, whoa, the requirements of your day mean you got to be there. When I did morning show radio, man, I would be up at 230 So I could be at the radio station by 4 a.m. So I could show prep when we went live on the radio at 6 a.m. That's just my that was my lifestyle. So so there once was a time when leaping into a brand new day began when yesterday was still playing out. There was also so many moments where I said yes. And it led to multiple layers of total regret. I've paid dearly for making such choices. Being a creative person, and I know you are, too. We have so many opportunities endlessly flowing toward us. The process of success is an awkward walk towards purpose, mainly because the wanters are usually louder and more demanding than those willing to set things free. And the reason why is because as a creative person, our voice is our art, not our speaking voice, the art that we create that is our voice and learning to understand that and to be able to have a relationship with that can sometimes be a very tough cookie to bite into because we think this thing here the mouth is is our voice but it's the art that is the voice and we totally forget that this thing right here the mouth needs to have a voice and it needs to say no no with deep regret i cannot accept In art, there can be so many times where the demands are like, okay, it feels okay now. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. And it doesn't. You've been there. I know you've been there. And that's why so much of your art while you were growing through life has been silenced because the pressure from the wanters was too much. And then when you finally did use your voice, uh, this thing right here, your mouth, then they're going, why would you treat me this way? But but what happened? See, it's a test of skills and patience. That's what being a creative mind is. Yet the wanters tend to make stipulations. Those border patrollers with requirements that tend to poison your art. Not your mouth. 
but your art, your creativity. But because creative people have this ability to feel everything, too often, every time we say yes, it's going to lead to another regret. Mm, 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 mm. The wanters, this is what you're going to do. You're going to have structure. Structure? Wait, I just told you I'm a creative person. What do you, what do you, I, you know, out of control chaos is who I am. You know, come on. Structure. The voice that you have. This one. The mouth. Come up with a way to say no. Because your yeses are getting in the way. Creating other no's in your life. The no's that you could have spent with family or very close friends, but you chose not to because you said yes to this. Now, how do I know this? Because I live a Google Windows life. You have 24 hours in the day. How much can I stuff into that day? And then when somebody comes up and says, hey, I need you for eight hours this coming Tuesday. Well, let me look at my Google calendar. No. With deep regret. I cannot accept. Creative people, we live a life of windows. And when we can't fulfill the wanters, then we guilt trip our ass. And we try to get to another day. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.